Hey, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and today I wanted to talk about Damian Wayne. Now, I don't think I've talked about Damian a lot on the channel in recent years, but in all honesty, my opinions on this character have roller coastered really hard. I went from not liking him to really liking him, back to not liking him, but I think I figured out my core problem with the character. When I was reading Morrison's Batman back when I was in elementary and middle school, fuck, I'm old. I didn't get Damien. I didn't get his character. And for that reason, uh, somewhere around like high school, I think, uh, I dropped Morrison's run completely. Which was a mistake. Because I didn't go back and read Morrison's run to its completion until a few years ago, and that was when Damien's character finally clicked for me. And that's also when I realized why Damien as a recurring character in DC's continuity feels broken. So for those of you who don't know, uh, very recently Damien and Bruce had a falling out because Damien's relapsed on killing people again. And because of this, Batman shuts down the latest iteration of the Teen Titans, which was being led by Damien, and now it looks like Damien is not only abandoning the mantle of Robin, but he's going to be some murderous Red Hood 2.0 type character, I guess. And naturally, Damien Wayne fans aren't too pleased with the new status quo. And while I don't count myself as a fan of the character, I do respect Damien, and I understand why so many people do love him, which is why I understand why so many of his fans feel like this is such a regressive move for the character, and why they're so frustrated. However, I also understand why DC is doing this in the first place. Not to say that I sympathize with them, or if I had a creative or editorial position at DC, I would necessarily do the same thing, but I do feel like I know why DC is so seemingly inconsistent with the characterization of Damian Wayne. And I feel like it all boils down to the simple fact that Damian was Grant Morrison's character. He was the product of a singular creative vision. Damien's character arc begins at the start of Morrison and Kubert's run on Batman, and he's this violent, sociopathic, vicious little devil child. But through the years, throughout Morrison's run, along with Tony Daniels, Frank Quietly, and various other artists, Damien legitimately grew past his bloodlust in an honest attempt to be more like his father and be the best Robin that he could possibly be. And that character arc ends with his death in Batman Incorporated. And with that, everything that needed to be said was said. Everything that needed to be done was done. That was supposed to be the end of Damian Wayne's run. But there was one tiny little wrinkle in all of this. Damien got popular, like really popular, you know, he ended up becoming a lot of people's favorite Robin. So with DC Comics being, well, DC Comics, uh, they weren't going to let this character stay dead. No, they had to milk this little boy for everything that he was worth. Ugh, I could have, I could have phrased that a whole lot better, but uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, but yeah, this is where we run into the main problem. DC brought him back from the dead, not because anybody at the company had a clear vision for what they wanted to do with him as a character, or because someone at DC had a story that they just had to tell with him. They brought him back because they thought they could further profit from his existence. Again, I think, I don't know for certain, I don't work there, but that's certainly how it comes off to me. Because even though the character's been utilized in literally every form of media for the past six or seven years now, you look at the comics, Damien's been trapped in this weird loop of 
going through the same character arc that he completed in Morrison's run. Hell, come to think of it, you even look at those video games and movies and TV shows, he's also kind of trapped in a weird loop of going through the same exact character arc over and over and over again. But I feel like that's the case because nobody at DC knows what to do with him. But they're in this weird situation where they can't really get rid of him. So he's just kind of there. And it's really awkward and annoying for everybody involved. Both consumers and creators alike. Anyways, those are my thoughts, but what about you? What do you think of Damian Wayne? What do you think of my thoughts regarding his status at DC Comics? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, adios nachos, adios.